Welcome to the certification exam rapid training session for the NS720 Microsoft Teams voice engineer exam. My name is Ed Fisher. In a series of videos to follow, we're going to go over the NS720 exam, the topics that are covered in the exam, resources to help you prepare, and a call to action. The purpose of these videos are to help you exhibit competence in understanding how to study for and pass the exam, have confidence in your ability to do so, and help you to best focus your time and efforts for studying to take and pass the exam. Do note that the 720 is currently a beta exam. This content was developed based on the latest beta exam outline, but the final exam may be different. So always check at the URL on this slide to make sure you're studying for the latest requirements and objectives before registering for and sitting the exam. The MS-720 is part of the learning path for the team's voice engineer expert certification. The prereq is to pass the MS-700 exam, Microsoft 365 certified, team's administrator associate. Then pass this exam, the MS-720, and you will earn the expert certification, Microsoft 365 certified, team's voice engineer expert. There are online classes that are available at no charge to help you prepare for this exam. That includes the Plan and Configure Teams phone class, which is about six hours worth of content, and then the Manage Teams phone, which includes another two to and a half hours of content. This exam will include some performance-based testing, so make sure that as much as possible you have hands-on experience, you've gone through in your own lab environment work, and work through the TAC to do these things. It's not just multiple choice questions here. The typical exam candidate is a Teams voice engineer, someone who's planned, designed, deployed, maintained, and troubleshot an actual Teams voice implementation. You should be familiar with the various communications technologies, PSTN connectivity through direct routing, using Operator Connect, using Microsoft's calling plans, and also have good hands-on experience with Teams phones and Teams devices. The exam has six sections. The percentage weight on the exam is anywhere between five and 30%. And in the next videos that follow this, we're gonna go over planning and configuring Microsoft Teams phone, optimizing network performance, planning and configuring direct routing, configuring and managing Teams phone for voice, planning and configuring Teams clients and devices, and then finally, monitoring and troubleshooting Microsoft Teams phone. 